Hello, everybody. It's Boxing Bros UK. I'm a host, Chris. This is my co-host, Andrew, the Boxing Brain. Today's topic is Joshua Bwatsi versus Willie Hutchinson. Yes. So um, yes. I'll, I'll start this one off. So I don't know if you've seen the, um, oh, the, 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 the face off. It's, it's like the gloves are off, but it's the zones version. So they sit down with Ade and uh, Ade Johnny Nelson asking them the, the questions and all that kind of crap. So they're just, they're back and forth. Willie, Willie Hutchinson is trying to wind up Joshua Bwatsi. And Joshua, Joshua Bwatsi is not really, not really biting and, and trying to wind him, wind him up back. And then um, there was an issue with Craig Richards and Willie Hutchinson. I don't know the full ins and outs of it, but apparently Willie Hutchinson said something that was a bit racist about his religion or about his dreads or something. Do you know anything about this comment that was made? No, I, 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 saw, the, um, I saw the altercation uh, because it's not something uh, uh, you, is, is your norm, we're normally accustomed to from Boatsy. I've wanted to see a little bit of this bite and viciousness oh, no, from him no, for no, a long this, time. No, this was a Boatsy. So Willie Hutchinson, when he was fighting Craig Richards, Apparently, oh. he said he said something in the build up to that fight. Oh, yeah. sorry. Obviously, yeah, it wasn't this. It, was, <laughs> it was it's all right. It's a bit. It was a bit racist or or so, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it should have been considered. Yeah, and it was a um, and it what to be yeah. fair, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but um, what I've heard is it's just people being oversensitive that this woke generation. But anyway. I don't know the ins and outs of it, so I don't want to comment too much. But anyway, so Bwatsi's right. used that, and William Hutchinson, he bit on that, and he went, and like Bwatsi said, and also, what what you said to Craig Richards, I'm going to get you for that, don't you worry. And he went, right. and he went, what, why, what did I say? Say it now. Say it now. I know what you're trying to... So he was getting his ass saying, I know you're trying to say that I'm a racist when I'm not, so if you think I'm a racist, say what I fucking said, and we'll get into it right now. And then Bawatsi was like, no, I'm not going to say it now because I'm not doing anything that you tell me to. You're not the boss yeah. of me. I'll do it when I feel like it. After this show, the full video clip of what you said and what you did, I says, we're going to show it. We're going to show it. And then we'll see what's going on. And he's got, and then Willie yeah. Hutchinson is going, tell Ade. And he Ooh. said, and then, um, and then um, Bawatsi was like, and I guarantee when Ade sees it, he's going to be interviewing you different. Every black man yeah. is going to be interviewing you different, speaking to you different, treating you different. And that Willie Hutchinson, he bit on that. He didn't like that at all. And fair play, if you're not a racist and someone's accusing you of being racist, it's a very bad thing. I'm very serious. So Absolutely. obviously, yeah. he, he's going to get his ass. He's going yeah. gonna, to gonna, gonna, gonna bite on that one, of course. So oh. uh, maybe that's what, what happened. Because after this, Boatsy ended up grabbing Willie Hutchinson by the throat and it was a massive altercation. So maybe that's what it was about. They were trying to um, get through this and then <laughs> Willie Hutchinson flipped the script and he wasn't biting. Yeah. And Boatsy bit when the camera was, cameras was off. You know, so... Oh, God. It's all going on, Chris, isn't it? Willie Hutchinson, the alleged, or we going to say alleged racist, and Boatsy, the strangler. I mean, it's like it's like out of some. It's like a fucking soap opera, Chris, isn't it? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so it was. Um, yeah. So it did get quite heated at the end, and Willie Hutchinson definitely. Definitely got on that one. Like for me, I don't believe Willie Hutchinson's a racist. He seems like he seems like a very nice guy. And I wouldn't like to say that about anyone. So, and I think Watson was just using yeah. that as um as fuel because he's he's trying to wind me up and get me to buy it. Well, I'll do the same yeah, to him. Yeah. Perhaps we've taken out of context, you know, I think the problem with these sort of stuff, and I haven't actually, I, I don't think I've seen the actual comment or anything going around, so I'm not going to comment if I haven't seen it. But if um, you, you've got to be very, obviously you've got to be very careful with accusations, and it is difficult, obviously, without knowing the context as well. But all, all it's going to do, Chris, is add a little bit of fire in the ring because coming in, lead, leading back into this, this matchup. I think what we're looking for, Boatsy, I think it's fair to say, as a very talented guy, you know, with a great jab, good pedigree, um, what we've kind of said for the last few years where his, his career stagnated, 
we've wanted to see that kind of predatory you know finishing guys maybe he's a little bit too humble a little bit too nice at times and we've wanted to see a little bit of this viciousness and perhaps with all of this stuff going on perhaps in the ring he might put We're some of see. that humbleness to one side and and we see a little bit of a different side to him in the ring perhaps yeah we'll see some uh some spice so let's get to the fight how do you think the fight is going to play yeah. out andrew Oh, well, just, just to give a few, I know, because there's all the geeks out there that just to quickly go over the stats. So, so obviously, Boatsy was the 18 fights, 13 KOs, kind of laboured to a, a unanimous decisions over Aziz and Craig Richards. Then he weren't, weren't the kind of best performances. Uh, although he had no. Aziz down a couple of times, didn't he, towards the end of that fight. Hutchinson, 18 and 1, 13 KOs. Silver light heavy, heavy champion, good win against Richards, as we know. Good amateur. It's a really good matchup. It's a really good matchup, this, because Boatsy's been a bit flat. His performances have been a bit flat in the last few fights, and we know that. Willie Hutchinson mm -hmm. is entertaining. He's got an interesting style, awkward as fuck. Um, you know, big, very good skill set. I, I, I do. Th I think this is because people are going to go Boatsy because of the name. But for me, this is kind of a, a pick and fight, kind of who do you like? And I think it's really who on the night, who on the night Saturday can raise their game, be, be, be on top form. And it, I, for me, it's a bit of a who do you like, bit of a pick em. I don't know, 50-50, I'd probably still slightly edge towards Boatsy as the favourite. But um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Willie Hutchinson's a massive live dog in this fight, isn't he, Chris? Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, for me, I just think that, like, Willie Hutchinson, like, he's... He fought Craig Richards, he raised his game. He's the opponent before that, like... He's, mm. on a, he's like, on a roll and improving. Boatsy... Like, he's never really, done, he hasn't, he, he's not really set the world alight and he's not really improved. He's always mm. been, whoever he's fought, he's always, like, laboured or just beat them. Or he's been better, he's yeah. been a little bit level above, so he's just done enough to get through the rounds and win. Like, he's never, yeah. he's never, he's never had, like, a shutout where he's, he's won every round and he's looked great. It's just, yeah, he just won yeah. that round. Yeah, he just, it's always been, it's never been exciting and a bit boring and a bit lame, but all, all his fights, his whole career, since yeah. he turned pro, it's been the same. It's I, been the same. Look, like. could I, I think he's, he's, it's a real, this is kind of, a, it's an interesting conversation with Boatsy, this, because obviously he left, he left Eddie Hearn, didn't he, to go to Boxer, along with Akoli. And it, um, it, it's just seems his career just seems to have complete. Like I feel like Boatsy has been around forever, right? Eighteen. I feel like he's thirty one now. I think he's thirty one, thirty two. I feel like he's been around forever. Like why is this guy not a world champion yet? I know. Look, the hot light heavyweight division. Look, we know. We know next month the Bivol Baterbiev. Baterbiev's not going to go on forever, but it's. I. I, I don't understand. While we're still, I mean, this is a good fight, don't get me wrong, but why has it taken this long for, for Boatsy to be in a kind of fight where we're like, right, if he if he's puts in a good performance here, right, sky's the limit now, off you go. Because yeah. he's got all the skills. Yeah. I just, I find his career really odd and frustrating. <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for it's, sure. It's, it's, it's the same because uh, he had the air title shot against um, Baturbiev, turned it down. Turned it yeah. down because he wanted to fight Yard. Then yeah. that didn't happen. Then he ended yeah. up fighting. Uh, Rick, uh, and then he's ended up fighting like Willie Hutch and shit. He says, like he's never been in a fight where he hasn't been the favorite. And when you, and, mm. and he's gone into the fight being the favorite, and he's not, and he's not uh, closed the show or put on a great performances. So you've got all the fights yeah. you've been in, you're expected to win, and you haven't looked good. You've just looked all right, you know. So yes. maybe we might see. The best from him. Mm. I don't know. I've got a question for you, Chris. Just a question's come up, Go come on. up off the top of my head. If 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 he's flat again, 
And I, I, I'd be shocked if Boatsy's flat. I really would. I, I think he, he's going to have the bit between his teeth. I feel that. But if he's yeah. flat again, Labour's, and Willie Hutchinson's able to step up a level again, because Boatsy is another little bit of a level above Craig Richards. I think that's probably fair to say, although I don't think he had a great performance against him himself. If Willie Hutchinson beats him in comprehensive fashion, where does Boatsy's career go from there, do you think? Uh, he, he's going he's gonna to have that yard fight. I guarantee it. He, he want, he's going to go and get the yard fight. Well, so do you think he'll step straight into that to try and, yeah, to try and yeah. regain some... Redeem himself. Um, it, redeem himself. But then, it might, it, will it, how much will it affect his comfort? I mean, these are all, you know, surmising we don't know. But oh, if yeah. he does lose comprehensively on Saturday, it, 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 it's, it'll, be, it'll be interesting, won't it? It's going to be a big step back and uh, he's going to fumble the bag against uh, Baturbia. But should have, would have, could have. But uh, should have, would have, could have. That's it. Going back to the fight, uh, I want to make my prediction. So mm. if you look at them, stats, I'd say Blatsy's well, got, got the heart, hit, hits harder. Mm. And um, I'd say he's probably got like maybe better timing because Willie Hutchinson, because cause he's a bit erratic sometimes and he's fast, he's yeah. his work a bit. So I'd say the timing and the power goes to Bwatsi, but the footwork, the speed, like that, the hand speed, the foot speed, all goes to Willie Hutchinson. Um, and I mm. just, I, I'm, my gut says I feel like Willie Hutchinson's gonna gonna win this fight because I think he's on a roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, lovely. Good, good performances. He's on a roll of getting good performances, coming into his own, coming to his prime of his career. He's full of confidence. And I feel like momentum. He's got a, momentum. Yeah, he's got the momentum. He's got the momentum. Exactly. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. He's got the momentum, and I just feel like, yeah, I think, I think um, this labouring to wins, the trains ran out for the Watson, and I think Willie Hutchinson's going to expose that. And I'm going Willie Hutchinson, unanimous decision. Oh, what a lovely breakdown! And I, because yeah. you know, because I think a lot of the time we do tend to kind of see fights quite similarly but i'm actually going to agree with you because again the brain <laughs> the brain and the optics go Boatsy. Boatsy. but you put, put it to one side put the kind of reputation and everything to one side right and just judge it just on performance you know and in terms in sport you know anyone who knows sport momentum plays a big big part in sport you know, the confidence levels, just that you're, you're in that flow, you're just feeling good in yourself. It's a, it's a yeah. massive thing. And I think, I mean, Doug, you know, Willie Hutchinson has been stopped. He got stopped against um, Lennox Le Clark Lennox. a few years ago. Yeah. Lennox Clark. Yeah, he, he, he can switch off at times uh, and he, he can be a bit, he can get hit and he can, like we saw that against Craig Richards, where in the later rounds, you just felt like he just need a, I think I vaguely remember his corner saying, just just win these rounds now, get your distance, flip your jab out, just get for it. And he still, he wanted to get in there and engage a bit, which don't get me wrong, I love. But I, I think Willie Hutchinson's going to be, I think he's going to be switched on for this, Chris. I think he's going to be yeah. absolutely switched on. Massive night. Sure. If he doesn't kind of buckle under the lights, yeah, I'm gonna go simple. I'm gonna go, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go for a tough. I think it'll be tough because I think Boatz will win rounds. I think he'll he'll get on the end of his jab and he'll win a few rounds with that good jab of his. But I think um Hutchinson might get a split decision. A narrow, yeah. quite a close split decision. Yeah. The thing is, Boatz starts slow. Hutchinson starts fast as well. Mm. That's another thing. So Hutchinson could win the first part, but Watsy could start coming into it and Hutchinson back down on the gum shield, close the show, win the championship rounds. You yeah. know? Yeah. And then uh, sky's the limit for him if he if he if Hutchinson wins that. What what a great two last fights for for his CV. Yeah. Terrific. If he if he wins that, next thing for him is let, let, let's go for one of the, the winner of um, the Serbia Vivo. If they don't, if they don't have a rematch. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, 
let's hope this this video don't age like milk and and Boatsy, you know absolutely puts on a fucking clinic and we're like this video doesn't age yeah. too well but well, and if you give your opinion wins, the moment. yeah and that's what it's all about and if you actually wins yeah same for him like no more turning down title starts you've got to take him or you may as well retire absolutely. what you're doing you're, you're 31 You've already turned down one title shot. I swear we had a shot against Bibble as well at one stage. Stop turning down title mm -hmm. shots and, and try. And if you're not good enough, yeah. you're not good enough. Because you're first. Yeah, if you are ready now. Like, yeah. Whatever the reason no point, you're going to have learning fights, isn't there? Yeah. Come on. You ain't, if, you ain't, if you ain't ready now with, with, his, with his pedigree and at 31, I don't know when you, when you will be ready, to be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, so, sure. <laughs> it's just by sure. a minute. That's it. You're going, Willie, split decision. I'm going, Willie, yeah. unanimous decision. That's it. That's our final predictions and thoughts. Boxing Bros UK. Like and sub, Super guys. Like and sub. <laughs>